game just just finally and, and I know we spoke recently about this time a year ago you were watching the side from home lose 2-0 away to Southampton and a year later we we're a point off top and you're in arguably the form of your life can you put into words how much you're enjoying your football now um yeah it's it's obviously like you say it's the difference a year makes it, it's frightening and um, but I think it, it, it taught me taught me not to take things for granted. Certainly, um, I went, when I signed for the club, I, I signed and had in my head that it was all going to be perfect. And um, signed a four-year contract. I had that stability there uh, of four years, and um, I still got to live at home. I still had my family around me. I, I, I came in thinking I was going to be uh, play, playing sort of. Most part of the games, and um, and and it was all going to be going to be perfect, and it, it turned out the the complete opposite. And um, now I'll I always go into into every week thinking that that it's not a foregone conclusion that I'm I'm going to be playing any part of this game or or even um, on the bench. So I think going into Going into weeks now, you just have to work hard as as hard as you possibly can in the build-up to games, and and just hope that that, that you're going to get that chance to to pull on the shirt at the weekend and and be able to help help the team out.